Hi, my name is Ryan Urbanowitz. My project is developing a learning classifier system for the detection, modeling, and characterization of genetic heterogeneity. Genetic heterogeneity is when you have uh, different subsets of people within a population that have different underlying factors which cause the same kind of disease. In our lab, uh, we're most interested in pursuing autism as it associates with genetic heterogeneity. And you can imagine a set of autistic patients where some group of the autistic patients have a specific set of underlying genetic causes, while an entirely different set of autistic patients have an entirely different set of genes and etiology. A few different methods have been attempted to uh, approach genetic heterogeneity, including clustering uh, and stratification, um, which while effective in uh, dividing up your population into smaller groups is not guaranteed success in capturing that underlying heterogeneity and in fact when you reduce your uh, population into smaller groups uh, you are now looking for a model within different uh, smaller sets of patients and that reduces your overall power to find a good model within each smaller group. And so in our lab we are interested in identifying the genetic causes and, and also environmental causes of common complex human diseases. The value of using the computational power of a massive number of processors uh, in, let's say, a supercomputer is that it allows us to approach this extraordinarily complex problem. It's very important to develop algorithms and to advance technologies to allow faster and uh, better computation. Um, specifically, the algorithm that I work with that I'm developing is something called a learning classifier system. And the idea with a learning classifier system is that you develop um, a whole population of rules uh, that represents your solution. Um, the normal paradigm in genetic epidemiology is to identify a single best model to explain whatever phenomenon you're trying to explain. And with learning classifier systems, they evolve an entire set of interacting rules which collectively make decisions, as opposed to a single rule that makes decisions. We think that these learning classifier systems lend themselves very well to our problem, being that we have a problem that has multiple solutions. So with that in mind, we want an algorithm that allows for multiple solutions to evolve. And thankfully, with the funding of the Newcomb Institute uh, supporting this research, we hope to identify the specific underlying etiologies and identify distinct subtypes of autism and uncover the specific factors that play a role in those smaller subgroups. The exciting part about this research is that it should be applicable to not only autism but any other common complex disease where genetic heterogeneity occurs.